alone We watched ourselves so easy High above my set, but I could hear the man who way Okay, new buggy viewers, welcome back to the world's coverage here on day number six. This is qualifying, and we're on board in heat number one. And uh, we're on board with the associated man, Ryan Cavallari, coming through in front of the rostrum now. Ryan Cavallari going to end up second in this heat, posting a 37 6 hot lap. And we move over with the Kyosho man, clipping the curb as he comes out of the Laguna S. David Ronafolk, Ronafolk going to win this heat, finishing up 37-1 hot lap and a 16 laps in 10 minutes 21. So as he works his way up over the kicker, left hand side. Not a clean run from Ronafolk this one. Does get a little bit uh, out of shape a few times, as you can see there. He comes through the time uh, timing loop, losing a lot of time. On the end of the straight, running wide, up over that double. As we join on board now, Dakota Fend. Fend going to find uh, this one very, very hard. Crashes there, you can see, dropping all the way down, finishing 10th in heat number one, some way off the pace. We join on board with uh, Ryan Cavallari and Cody King. Cody King going to take fifth spot in this heat. Cody King with a fast lap, 38 flat, so not quite on the pace from Cody. But he is turning some consistent laps. Uh, less mistakes than everybody else. And he finished up on a 10, 16 laps in 10.36 for Cody, the Kyosho man. So in front of the rostrum, you can see Cavallari maybe pulling away a little bit in the distance as he goes out of shot. A lot more drivers trying the uh, safer single double line through the middle of the park. You can see there Dakota Fenn upside down again. So Q1 for Dakota, a real struggle having uh, some crashing issues. As we join back on board with uh, current two-time European champion David Ronnefolk from Sweden. So he's uh, got his Kyosho back on all four wheels coming through the line. Again, David finished up winning this heat in a time of 16 laps in 10.21 as he works his way safely through the race hair, um, hairpin down through the Laguna S oh car gets a little bit out of shape temperatures are a little bit cooler today um, the wind is blowing you might be able to see as we move into the right hand side you can't quite make out that the uh, flags the nationality flags in the uh, top right of the venue are blowing very well today and again, David struggling with that double cone onto the straight. So as he comes in for his pit stop, early pit stop from David. And off and away he goes again, safely out of the pit lane. As we pan round the track, we're going to join on board with Martin Bayer, that looks like. And Bayer going to finish up third in this heat. He's going to finish with a 16 lap in 10.27. And again, Bayer only posting those 38s, 38 flat from him, fast lap. So not breaking into the 37, so maybe a lot more drivers taking it a bit easier today. As a lot of these drivers, were, well, all of these drivers were posting 37 second laps. So maybe backing it off a little bit, trying to go clean. As he works into the centre of the park now, through the 180, into the option line. We saw Martin going for the double single a lot yesterday. And he is opting for the safer line, single double. As we work into the left hand side, you can see that looked like Cody King out of the ballpark. Having some issues. And it looks like Cody King either having some real issues or just uh, pulling up and letting some traffic by. As we pan around the track, we pick up with Martin Bear again with the x ray. Working his way down into the Laguna S and into the left hand side Martin's car looking um, not quite as stable as it did yesterday a few nerves starting to show I think in this heat number one I think there's going to be a lot of uh, that from drivers in round number one until they can get themselves into qualifying mode people may be still in that fast three lap uh, balls out mode but Martin looks like he's got himself in a little bit of a rhythm we're going to pan round again we move back on with David Ronafolk, again the winner of this heat. Nice and tight there through the 180. And sorted his line out. There he is through the line. 
rubbing the pipe as he comes uh, onto the straight. Running a little bit wide as he comes up over the double. Wiggle of the wheels to settle the car as he comes through the kicker. Into the race tabletop, through the sweeper. Engine smoking nice as he comes through there. You can see him getting on the gas. Through the center, up over the double single. Looks like he's coming up onto the gearbox of Joseph Quagrain. And we go up onto the kick. You can see the concrete there, just where he got out of shape, is where they fix the track. So that's all from round number one of qualifying, heat number one, at neobuggy.net.